Hey Dom, this is Dave Decide. Today I want to get into V interacting with a news reporter and it's very cute. I also want to get into an alleged leak of Jisoo allegedly confirming the V and Jenny thing and people believing it's a staff behind it. It's pretty interesting. And then we have fans protesting Hybe over alleged racism. So hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch and let's get into it. I need to get into the alleged racism or erasure that is being talked about. Now this is a touchy subject and I will only touch upon it in the way that I can and not talk about anything that I do not understand fully, which are the specific cultural aspects as I am not black. But I am a person of color regardless of how many people believe Asians are not people of color. I believe I am and I have perspective that will add to the conversation. Black culture has been the foundation of K-pop music. This is something K-pop does not hide and even Bang PD himself has come out and talked about how the inspiration with black culture gets inside K-pop, likely hinting it's part of his own work as well. While acknowledging the inspiration behind K-pop music and the usage of black culture, it is a great thing. It's really only the first step since the industry often doesn't give specific credit to the specific marginalized people time and time again. And of course, there's other things that we won't touch upon too much today, which is also skin lightening and those things, which are more gray areas because some people think it's weird to love making black music, but hate having dark skin, which is almost a contradiction. But these things are more gray because having lighter skin is more of a cultural Korean thing rather than hating black people and that's a whole other situation. Recently on Weverse an article was posted thanking all armies from all around the world and different ethnicities. The article highlighted research from the Korea Creative Content Agency Consumer Research Report. The report talked about all the different races that are K-pop listeners that have helped break the record for K-pop being this now huge global thing. Asians, Latino or Latinx if you prefer and Hispanic were listed as part of the percentage. People were upset when they noticed that black people were not listed here. Given the previous situation with black people feeling like their culture is being used, people were definitely upset that they weren't included. People were upset at Hive or Weverse for creating this article and people started to tweet out saying, look, I'm a black army, we are here. And they rightfully have every right to be upset. However, likely the report from Korea was the one that didn't highlight black people. So the hate should be more drawn to the specific person person that had drawn up the report. Weverse or the journalist needs to provide numbers and to prove their point they have to draw their numbers from somewhere and they can't just make up a black people percentage number if it wasn't cited originally because then that's inaccurate. And so I don't see why if the number was cited in the original report Weverse wouldn't cite it in their own article. I understand the tough part of being a black k-pop listener as you would often feel like it's your own culture versus whatever k-pop wants to do with it and it's this constant battle of should I support an industry that may not support me as a human. However, BTS and HYBE have time and time again shown their support to black people and the Black Lives Matter movement, so know that BTS is definitely on your side even if it can appear like that's not true. The members have all of our backs and I also have your back as well. We are constantly fighting for this equality, not only with races but also just human rights. It was cool to see V walking out of his radio gig the other day and seeing how happy he was to do something new and different. V guest hosted on a radio gig on NBC and a lot of armies and reporters showed up. This was definitely expected once V starts going live. It would only take an hour or so before every major paparazzi crew lines up outside the radio station to get a peek of V. And of course every army in the area would know. After V finished his gig he walked about and greeted everyone. He initially remained very silent in everything and tried not to talk too much. There's plenty of reasons why. He may just have spoken a lot already throughout the day and so he's saving his voice. He may also be more concerned over saying the wrong thing given the rumors and he doesn't want to add gas to the flame. News reporters were screaming questions at him and just doing what they do. It seemed like V just smiled and waved and ignored everything. However, he did break his silence when a reporter screamed and asked if he could take his mask off so they could obviously all get a good picture. I mean, V could wear sunglasses and a full on bank robber mask and we'd still recognize him. Let's be real here. But V took off his mask and the news reporters went crazy. Everyone was cheering like, oh my God, you can see his gorgeous face. It was awesome. And I'm sure this made everyone's trip out to see him much more worth it. Of course, this makes sense as some people probably took some time to travel over to the station. People are going to want to see V's face. If you're into V's solo songs like Snowflower and want to get more V reaction content, I do react to those on my Patreon. So if you want to fangirl with me over that, I will link my Patreon down below. Speaking of previous rumors going around, there has definitely been a lot happening. I like to 
say this as it gives a bit of perspective on what an idol or everyone has to deal with. If the situation is loud for you, as in a celebrity scandal or anything, and you see it all over social media and all over your DMs, and even if you only see it occasionally or randomly, if you're seeing it at all, that means it's 30 times louder for the actual celebrity because their name is being dropped with every tweet. So their notifications have exploded. Their team and staff are either trying to remedy the situation or just yelling at the celebrity. The celebrity's mom, family, friends are all reaching out and they also get notified when their supporters fight back. Then they deal with the news articles and maybe with Hive's case, being a public company that is also on the stock market, they have to do investor or board meetings to determine what to do next if the stock has dropped. We as the normal people only see the headlines or tweets. We are not dealing with the money part, which is even louder as these really rich and powerful investors are screaming at you. Hopefully this is nothing of what V has to deal with. I don't think the dating scandal has gone to a point where V is in that situation, but it is definitely loud for him. Today, the internet woke up with the newest update on the situation and Gurumi Haribo, who is the alleged Jenny iCloud hacker, released some new photos. Back a while ago, Gurumi released some photos of Jisoo that were never before seen. People thought that they were edited and then later in a paparazzi photo, people saw that Jisoo was in the same outfit. So it made it appear like Jisoo's iCloud was hacked because how else did Gurumi get those photos? Now, Gurumi has a group chat thing. So every time they post on there, everyone in that chat sees what they have to say. Gurumi posted a photo today of Jisoo sitting in Jeju. The photo was never before released. You allegedly can't find it posted anywhere. And Gurumi asked Jisoo to post this photo to confirm that everything Gurumi was saying was true. Allegedly, only a few hours later, Jisoo posted that same photo on her Instagram account and Gurumi thanked Jisoo. I feel like you could feel the internet just go silent for a moment. People are now believing Gurumi is a YG staff and now really believing that Gurumi is part of that staff. Maybe Jisoo texted Gurumi that photo. If Gurumi is indeed a hacker, there could be a chance that they'd have the photo before Jisoo posted it. These photos and posts are often scheduled by a social media team and there could even be a folder on the cloud that says, post these in September, blah, blah. And these photos were already predetermined and Gurumi just grabbed them to make it look like Jisoo was confirming when in reality, those photos would have gone live regardless. At this point, I still think that Jenny and V photos are edited. They may or may not be dating. We don't know that, but I think the photos are edited for sure. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think Jisoo was confirming V and Jenny? What do you think about how V spoke and broke silence to the reporters? And how do you feel about the people protesting Hive over Black Erasure? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.